Hello my viewers, this is Nidal Kacho. Today we will make a bar graph or a bar chart in Microsoft Word which is a, a third part of my tutorial regarding creating graphs, lines and charts in Microsoft Word. So today we will create a, a bar graph or a bar chart in Microsoft Word. Uh, as you know, a bar graph is simply the representation of a numerical data by rectangles or bars of equal width and varying heights okay the length of each bar uh, relates its value so we'll see how to create these uh, values or how to relate these values and those bars and rectangles okay in this tutorial so let's begin first to create our uh, bar graph we need to have a, a data a given data so as you can see here we have a simple table which shows uh, uh, different uh, companies having different sales at different uh, years yeah so for instance we have uh, three companies company a b c and c and they have their own sales in million dollar at uh, different years for instance at 2021 we have this uh, sales and the like so we need to convert this table into bar graph so that it will be simple to understand the sales of each company each company so the first step is as usual as we do in the previous uh, tutorial we need to click a place where we want to insert our graph our graph or chart so let's assume our graph is here so then you can uh, click on insert at the menu bar insert then chart to create a bar graph we have two options first you can say you can select a column as you can see here, the only difference between column and bar, it is their position here. Yeah? In the first case, in the uh, form of column, we have vertical bars here, yeah? vertical rectangles, as you can see here. But in the case of bar, we have simply horizontal bars, yeah? horizontal bars. So that is the only difference, and you can use uh, either of them, either of them. So let's start from the column. Here we can select the first option, the first option or uh, whatever you like. It will automatically display our uh, default uh, bar graph. So we can modify this one based on our given uh, uh, data. So first let's suggest this window so that it will be uh, simple to modify. To modify. And this way you can simply adjust. I think now it is very visible yeah so now let's modify it uh, here we have a, in the horizontal x-axis we have different categories so it is better to make this uh, values or to replace these values by uh, number of years or years okay for category one it is better to make it 2021 for category two 2022 and the like so let's convert to this category first Let's make this one is uh, 21, 2021. 20, the second category is 2022. 20, the third one is 2023. 20, then we have the extra one uh, category. So simply you can remove this one by uh, simply you can select the whole row, then you can press right click and then you can delete okay you can delete as you can see here so here we have only uh, 21 22 and 23 as you can see here and we have uh, the legends in the legend it must be the companies yeah because uh, the sales represent the companies the companies so for series one here we have dependent variables that variable is you can simply substitute by the company's name so series one, let's assume company A. For series two, company B. And for series three, let's assume company C. So as you can see here in the bar graph, we have a legend here for in the, the blue color represents the sales of company A. And the red color represents the sales of company B. And the green one represents the sales of company C. So it is very simple to understand as you can see here. So let's change the values, the values as you can see here based on our given data. So for company A in the year of 2021, 
uh, we have 400 million dollars 400 you can say uh, in the same year for company b we have 500 as you can see here it is 500 and again for company c in the same year in 2021 we have 200 okay in the same way we can change our values for uh, the year of 2022 the sale for company a is uh, 290 okay 290 again for company b it is 450 million dollar and for company c it is 350 the last one for the year of 2023 the uh, sales for company a is, is 150 150 for company B, it is $700 million, and for company C, it is $600, okay? So, in this way, we complete our uh, bar graph or bar chart. As you can see here, it is very simple to understand. So, you can simply expand this one. So, we have a graph here. This is our bar graph. So, to interpret this bar graph, uh, simply, it is very simple. In the year of uh, 2021, company A have this uh, amount of uh, sales and company B have this one and company C have this one. So uh, if you see the whole trend from these three years, company A, the sales of company A is decreasing, as you can see here. And the sales of company B first uh, increased, then decreased and finally increased but the sales for company C is increasing from each year as you can see here. So it is very simple to understand, yeah? Even to explain about your output. So in the same way as we did before in pie chart and in line graph, we can simply click and modify our graph. So we can simply double click, then you can modify the different line colors, the line styles and the like. Well, for instance, if you wish to change the uh, line color simply you can say solid then you can change this color okay whatever you like and you can close it so as you can see here the horizontal uh, lines are changed into green into green so in this way you can format you can format even you can change the styles the different styles as you can see here and also you can uh, uh, change uh, the layouts, the layout of your bar graph. Or you can say in this way, for instance, uh, in this way you can represent the values on each bar graph. Yeah? It is very simple even to understand, okay? And you can change the color. For instance, simply you can click here and you can say uh, sales, yeah? sales in million dollar in million dollar yeah can say m capital m so in this way you can make your park your bar graph bar graph very attractive so i think it is very simple to make a bar graph and it will be enough for today uh, thank you for watching this tutorial video if you like this tutorial video please subscribe my channel give your comments in the comment section even you can ask or you can raise any question in the comment section okay goodbye for today thank you